Hi, this is Tanya Kendrick with Solopreneur Diaries. Today I want to talk to you about Toggle, which is a time tracking app that I have used for a number of years. Keeping track of your time will help you be more focused. It will help you identify places where you're wasting time or where maybe you're spending too much time on things that don't have a good return, like administrative tasks. It will help you hold yourself accountable for working on your most important tasks, and it will help you get better at estimating how long things take to actually accomplish. This is helpful if you work with clients and you need to be able to estimate how long a project is going to take, or if you work for yourself, it's also helpful to know how long you typically spend on things so that you don't overcommit yourself. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing that we want to do is open a new Toggle account. So you're going to go to Toggle.com. That's T-O-G-G-L.com. There's no E on the end of Toggle. T-O-G-G-L. And click on Sign Up and enter your email address and a password and click Sign Up for free. Toggle does have, a, have various paid accounts, but I have used the free account for many, many years and have found that it has everything that I need. I've never found a need to have one of the paid accounts. So once you sign up, you're gonna see something that looks similar to what I have on the screen, except yours is gonna be blank. You're not gonna have any information in there yet. This is actually my real toggle account that we're looking at. So to get started, you just click in, what are you working on? And start typing. So working on a test task and you can give it a project by clicking on the file folder to create a new project just type in what you want that to be called and click control enter on your keyboard and that will create the project you can do the same thing with tags so you have a couple of different organization options you have your your project and your tag so I'm going to create a test tag and do the same thing, hit Control and Enter on my keyboard, and that creates that tag. And then just click the green button, and that will start tracking your time from the moment that you click it. And then when you finish tracking, you can click the red button, and that will stop that particular entry. So that's how easy it is to track your time. You just type in what you're doing, and give it a project and a tag, and click the green button to start. Now there are going to be times that maybe you're not at your desk and you need to track your time. So there are a couple of options. First, there is a mobile app that you can put on your phone so you can track your time when you're away from your desk. It syncs up with the web app so everything is all in one place. The other option is that you can just come back afterwards and enter it in the web app. And that's what I usually do. Uh, because I do spend most of my time working at my desk, I only occasionally do things somewhere else. So if you have something that you want to backdate, you can just type in whatever it was that you were doing. This is a backdated entry. And you can put it in there and just go in and change the time. So let's say this is something I started doing at 12 o'clock and went right up to the current moment of time. You can edit any task that you want to. It doesn't have to be something that you're, you're backdating. You can go in, for example, this was something I did this morning. I was adding things to my Tailwind Tribes and I walked off to go work out and I forgot to click stop. I forgot to click the red button. So when I came back, it looked like I'd spent a long time on Tailwind Tribes. So I just went in and edited my entry. I don't know exactly what time I stopped, but I know that I normally spend about 10 or 12 minutes um, on Tailwind Tribes every day. So I just put in 7.33 as my stop time. It doesn't have to be exact. We're not trying to be perfectionists here. We're just trying to get a good view of how we're spending our time. So it, don't worry if you don't have the exact time that you started and stopped something. And if you want to delete tasks, you can do that as well. If you 
put something in accidentally, like, you know, this test task I've got in here, I'm obviously not going to leave that. So I would just click on the three dots and click delete, and that's going to make that go away. Okay, so we know how to end our task. Now let's look at some reports, because that's where you're going to really start to figure out how you're spending your time and figure out ways that you can improve. So in the left sidebar, click on Dashboard, and this is going to give you a nice overview of how you've spent your time. It defaults to the current week, and in this top graph, we see how much time you've tracked each day of the week. The bottom graph shows how much time you've spent on particular projects. It gives you a little pie chart, and it gives you this um, list summary list over on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, it sees it or it shows you the, the individual tasks that you've worked on. So these are not projects, these are tasks, and they're in rank order from high to low, you know, what you spent the most time on all the way down to what you spent the least time on. You can change this view, the time frame. So by clicking on this week, I could change that to this month or even this year, or last month, or I could put in a custom date range. So let's say I wanted to look at the last 30 days, I could click on May 22nd and let it go up to June 21st to see what it looked like for the last 30 days. So that's the dashboard. It's just a nice high-level overview of how you spend your time, but it doesn't have a lot of customization options. That's where reports come in. So click on reports in the left sidebar, and that's going to bring up the reports option. Now the summary report is very similar to what we just saw in the dashboard. I usually use the detailed reports because that's going to let you drill down into projects and tags and individual tasks. So, for example, let's say I wanted to see how much time I've spent on Pinterest this week. I have a Pinterest tag, so I can click on tag, and in the find tag box, I can just start typing Pinterest until that shows up, click the check box, and that's going to pull up all of my Pinterest tasks that I have uh, performed this week. And so I can see that I've spent a total of just over two hours. And I can decide if that is a good use of my time. Um, I think that it is, but an example of how I use this to stop doing something is Facebook share groups. I used to participate in Facebook share groups and I tracked them with a tag and toggle. And then I looked at the return that I was getting and I realized that I was not getting a good enough return for the amount of time that I was spending on Facebook share groups. So I stopped doing those altogether. So that's how you can use your time tracking to make some decisions about how you're going to spend time in your business. So I have this filtered on a tag. To get rid of that filter, I just click on the X and that goes away. Another thing that I like to look at is click on projects and click entries without projects. And so that's going to pull up everything that I've done this week that I don't have a project attached to. So some things I don't necessarily have a project associated with it, but some things like this Biz Boost workbook, I have several entries here. I do have a project for that, and so I just apparently forgot to enter the project. So I can bulk edit those entries from this screen. Just click on bulk edit and then select the individual entries that I want to edit. I can't get that one to select. We're not going to worry about that right now. Um, I'm going to click Edit Selected, and in Select Project, I'm just going to start typing the name of that project. All right. Click that, and then click Save. And that's going to move those tasks into that project. So that's how you can use reports. Um, another thing that you might want to use reports for is maybe you do client work. If you're a freelancer or you have other types of clients, you can create projects or tags for each one of your clients, and then you can pull reports and use that for your billing. 
and you can use that to justify your time with your client to show exactly how you've been spending your time working on their project. So those are just some different ways that you can use the reporting aspect of Toggle. Now to get back to the main screen where we're tracking our time, you can either click on the Toggle button in the top left hand corner, or you can click on the word timer, and they're both gonna bring us back to this screen, which is where we do our actual time tracking. And I just wanted to point out one more thing about this screen is that it gives you a reverse order of how you've tracked your time. So you can see that today is on top, and it's gonna go with what I have tracked most recently, and go backwards from there to yesterday, and the day before, and the day before, et cetera. So it's just a reverse time log. That's it. I've been using Toggle for years. Like I said at the beginning, it really helps me to stay focused with how I spend my time and helps me make decisions on how I want to spend my time so that I can be much more intentional and identify the things that I'm wasting time on and get the right things done. For more time management and productivity tips, visit solopreneur, solopreneurdiaries.com. This is Tanya Kendrick. Thanks and have a great day.